This Alex again. It's still Earth Month. It's April. And this week we're going to talk about fantastic flyers and other bugs like this butterfly that you see right here. Now, there's butterflies and they're moths, and they're very closely related. Scientists call them Lepidoptera. Can you guys say that? Lepidoptera. Lepidoptera, which means wings with scales. Do they look like they have scales? Let's see which is which. Most butterflies fly around during the day. Most moths fly at night. Butterflies have knobs on the ends of their two antenna. Moth antenna have no knobs and some are shaped like feathers. As you can see here, this butterfly has long antenna and this moth has fuzzy antenna, just like we've talked about. The scales on the wings of the butterflies and moths reflect light in different directions like lots of tiny mirrors. That gives the insects their many colors. Can you see those tiny scales up close? It's so cool. Now this is a swallowtail butterfly and a sagropia moth. Whoa, look at that blue. That's a blue morpho butterfly. Bright blue and big. This is one of the largest butterflies. As it flies through the rainforest, the morpho flaps its wings up and down. Bright blue colors shows as the butterfly's wings flap down. The blue almost disappears when its wings flap up. That is because the undersides of its wings are brownish. Rotting fruit makes a yummy meal for a morpho. The butterfly unrolls its proboscis. Can you guys say proboscis? A mouth part that is a long hollow tube, kind of like a straw. It uses it like a straw to sip juice from the fruit. Can you flap your wings up and down as if you were a morpho butterfly? Did you know that the morpho's entire life is only 115 days long? They live in the tropical forests of Mexico to Colombia. They eat leaves and they like to eat juices, rotten fruit, fungus, and tree sap, as well as even wet mud. They have one egg at a time, and they have to watch out for birds and other insects that might eat them. They're about as big as your hand. There are about 20,000 species of butterflies. That's a lot. Male and female butterflies often look different. Here are a few examples along with their caterpillars. So a caterpillar is what the butterfly starts out as, and then they go into a chrysalis, and then they go into becoming a butterfly. So this is the Raja Brooks birdwing butterfly and the top one is a male and the bottom one is a girl and that means she's a female and in the middle between them is a spiky looking caterpillar and that's what they look like as a baby now up above on the other side there's the adonis blue butterfly that's in europe and that's the boy butterfly is the big blue one and the lower one the brown and light blue one is the girl and the baby caterpillar that they are is the top little caterpillar at the very top with yellow stripes. Now we have the orange banded shoemaker, which is which are in Central and South America. Now the male the male butterfly it has this orange stripe and the female has these really beautiful white spots. Now that's really important because that helps you tell which is the male and which is the female. So if you see these two butterflies, you can easily tell which is the boy and which is the girl. Can you see that beautiful green and orange spiky caterpillar at the bottom in between them? That's what they look like as a baby. Isn't that silly? Now we're on to moths. This is the Isabella tiger moth as a baby. Do you see how fuzzy it is? It looks almost like a cactus. The woolly bear caterpillar turns into this moth. So we call it the woolly bear caterpillar while it's a baby. And then as it gets bigger and turns into a moth, we call it the Isabella tiger moth. Now, they live in meadows, fields, prairies, woods throughout much of North America. So we might see them. And they eat many plants. But as an adult, they don't eat. So they lay seven hundred egg, several hundred eggs at a time, which is more than the butterfly that only laid one. And... They have to watch out for bats because they're nocturnal, birds and spiders, wasps and flies. And they go into a 
cocoon when they're transforming. So tiger moth caterpillars, also called woolly bears, are more famous than the moths they turn into. Woolly bears are commonly seen in the fall. They are fuzzy black at each end and brown in the middle. This amazing caterpillar freezes all the way through its body during cold winters. In the spring, it thaws and is still alive. It has a special kind of antifreeze in its body that keeps it alive. The Isabella tiger moth is active at night and when it flies around looking for a mate. So in places where winters are long and very cold, a woolly bear may live through as many as 14 winters before it becomes a moth. But once it becomes the adult moth, it may only live for four to five days. There are about 160,000 species of moth, which is about 140,000 more species than butterflies. Here are a few of the world's moths. This one over here is the elephant hawk moth, which feeds at night, sipping nectar from honeysuckle and other flowers. It's beautiful pink. And this one over here that's yellow and looks like it has eyes and long tails is the comet moth. It's also called the Madagascan moon moth. Now this one at the top that's bright orange over here, it's pretty big, is the atlas moth. And it's the largest moth species in the world. It can grow so big it would almost cover a whole book. And the one below it with this long proboscis reaching into the flower, remember the tongue or the... Um, straw-like mouthpiece. This is the Morgan Sphinx, Sphinx moth, and it drinks nectar deep inside the flowers called orchids. Now, I saw some of you cleaning orchids, so I know what you know what they are. So thank you so much for learning about all these moths and butterflies with me, and let's review. So moths and butterflies are related, but they're not the same. Moths are nocturnal, butterflies are diurnal, which means they hunt during the day and moths hunt at night. And moths lay about a thousand eggs while the butterflies lay only one. And the moth also has 140,000 more species than the butterfly. So keep that in mind. Whenever you're looking outside, um, know that what you're seeing during the day is less than what you might see at night. So see what you can see at night tonight. Maybe if you stand near a light, you'll be able to see a moth flying up towards it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I hope that you enjoyed the coloring page that goes along with it. Stay tuned for more videos this week and for more coloring pages, as well as awesome YouTube tutorials coming out today and for the rest of the week. Bye, guys.